everybody. You know, this probably isn't going to go how I want it to go. Everyone's probably going to throw up because of all the motion, but <laughs> I figured I would have you guys join me on my, my morning mile walk. Oh, man, another breakfast with Brocky. Well, let's talk about a few things this morning. First, yesterday I was training a client who's a friend of mine, Sam. And I said, really, you know, one of those things you say and you're like, oh my gosh. But I said the word or phrase or whatever you want to call it. YOLO to something we were talking about. You know, you only live once. And he responded and said, no, you only die once. You live every day. It's very true. Sam, what a good point. Every time those eyes open in the morning or maybe after you take a long afternoon nap from a hard day, you got a chance to live, a chance to rewrite your story. <clears throat> so be thankful for that, right? And they got me thinking on some other things, you know. I was talking to somebody yesterday. It seems like, at least Americans, I don't know about the rest of the world, but, you know, we have these plans of how we're going to retire and do all these great things and how that takes so many years and we all want to live to 100 years old or more than that just so we can squeeze in as much life as possible but I don't know I feel like to accomplish that you have to do everything you want to do you're gonna need a lot of money and that got me thinking too I don't know if life is necessarily just the accumulation of years or if it's more the intensity with which you live those years you know, having a fulfilling life, whether you died at 28, 42, 67, or 110. I think if you had 110 meaningless years, it might not have the same impact as someone who lived their life to the fullest and made an impact on other people's lives in 50 years. I don't know, just some morning ramblings. Sorry, I just like snorted into the you know, that's not Corona, allergies 2020. But yeah, just had some thoughts on that. Maybe think about that, you know, how you live your life today. Also, some other thoughts while we're walking. I'm not gonna keep you probably the whole mile because that would be probably a 15 minute video of me walking. And you're already probably getting shaken baby syndrome following me. But one more idea before I let you go, or one more thought, it's not really an idea, is what's happened this past year and how that's changed you for good or for better. It's been a crazy year, 2020. Been a lot of isolation for some people, a lot of loneliness, a lot of depression, a lot of job loss, a lot of despair. It's been some bright moments for people, kids being born, job promotions. I mean, there's both ends of the spectrum and everywhere in between. But I think the things we should take away from our time in this year so far is how much your friends, family, and those close to you mean and how important it is to have a local community even if it's not your blood family. Okay, you don't have to be blood family to be family. Some of you have friends that are closer than family. But I want you to think about that. Do you know who to go to in times of trouble? Do you have someone to go to? I think building relationships in this type of environment is probably the most important skill to have, the most important thing you can do. I mean, even from a consumption standpoint, you know, do you know someone who grows local produce, uh, farms in your area? Do you know a local butcher? If you are gonna source meat instead of buying at the grocery store, do you know, you know, uh, your local banker. I mean, it could go for anything you want to exchange money for an item or services for an item. And I think at this point, we can all agree that those at the top of our country, not all of them, but the ones that represent and the ones that are on the media all the time, really don't care about the little guy, me and you. You're probably better off to be more concerned with who your sheriff is than who your president is at this point. At least that's how I feel. Control what you can control, do what you can in your local communities. Because we're not a part of that big club, you know, the ones at the top. That's why the stock market's going up. I mean, it made like a quick V 
in about a five month period, be the fastest ever in history to return almost to where it dropped from, like a 30 plus percent drop and rebound. And it's hard not to act like that wasn't money just put in the pockets of corporations buying off all their debt and printing money. And you got your $1,200 check and some unemployment and going your way, you little, I don't know to say it, but maybe peasants, I don't know what they would call us. <clears throat> but that's how it feels. So remember, think local. Who's your sheriff? Who's the people that grow food around you? Who are your friends and family? Who do those you go to church with? Who do you go to the gym with? Those are probably the people that you should uh, invest in. Anyway, enough on that. The sun's trying to peek out. It's kind of a hazy morning, but you know, it's still pretty nice out. It was really hot yesterday though. It was like 197 degrees out. Well, thanks for joining me on this morning mile. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll be back next week. I'll be moved into my new place, so it won't be as chaotic. Hopefully none of you threw up. There's the sun. Peeking up above the trees. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Have a great day. Oh! <laughs>